I wanted to become a physical therapist because I wanted to work in healthcare, but I wasn't sure that I necessarily wanted to be a, a doctor or even nursing. So I had an aunt who was a, um, a guidance counselor. So I went over to her house one afternoon and we kind of talked and decided kind of between allied health professionals. And that's kind of how I started. The patient that sticks with me the most is, is um, a young woman who had a head injury. She was a freshman in college. She was heading back. She was off on spring break and she was heading back to her house and her sister was following her in a different car and she got into a car accident. Um, she was about 19 or 20 at the time and I think what I remember about her the most was that she um, she and I became just very close because I was still new here in Georgia. I had just moved down here and we just got to talking and stuff. And, and I remember the, one of the things I did for her was she just started to come out of the, um, you know, the fog that happens after the brain injury. And so she was beginning to see what the deficits were going to be. And she just sat there and cried. And I just kind of sat with her and held her hand and we just talked. And to this day, she remembers that more than she remembers that I got her walking. So I think, you know, that just sticks in my head that, you know, while it's about the physical, it's also about the support too. So, and she's, you know, somebody I still keep in contact with. My husband likes to ride, so I'm trying to get into riding bikes. So um, he has a, a, he has just a road bike. So we just go on the Silver Comet Trail out in Kennesaw. I like to read, um, I do make jewelry, so I like to do that. For anybody who wants to be a physical therapist, the thing I would recommend is really doing some volunteer work, seeing if it's something that you really want to do, you know, working at a couple of different places to kind of get a feel for what, the, you know, what different aspects of the therapy involve and see if it's something that you really want to, you know, drawn to. I, I like stories. I like, it's, it's about the helping, but I also love listening to people's stories. So getting to understand them and what's important to them and then trying to help them achieve that, even if it's something very little or something very different than the norm.